Hey there fellow gamers, my name is Zach, and welcome back to Let's... Okay, that looks to be a bit loud. Sorry, I'm looking at the... Why is it saying that my voice is like so damn loud? I apologize if it is. But welcome back to Let's Play Saints Row Get Out of Hell. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if there's like maybe in-game settings to change the volume because I don't want to have that echoey sound again. But I really can't hear crap in this game unless I have the volume on max. Or, like, not max, but higher than normal. So, once this loads, I'm going to see if there's anything I can do about that. Loading. Options. Audio. Max. I don't really think that helped at all. Alright, but hopefully there's not as much echo. If there is, I do apologize. But let's go back into the world of all this. Whoop. Don't mind if I do. Oh, well, that's awesome. We get to play as Kinsey now. Well. Um. So that just happened. Punk. Waste of time. <laughs> Punk. Punk. Yeah. Okay, so gonna go back to collecting these and wait, no, wrong button. Uh, quest log. I have a lot of effing quests to do. Um. Charge Halo. Collect the Stomp Power. Rally Shakespeare. Okay, that seems simple enough. Oh, that this is so awesome. Just be holy crap, you fly fast as hell too. Oops. I don't know what I just did. Oh boy. I really don't know what I just did. I like shot something. Yep. And there's the raining pillars of fire. Oh lightning. Is there nothing you can't do? Okay. Hey, look, a limousine. That looks rather normal. Give me your bike. The goat. Oh, I'm right there. Okay. So now we're befriend. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, that just happened. So now we're befriending Shakespeare. That's normal. Um, okay. And Shakespeare's in a nightclub, because that's normal. Bust a move. Okay. Lights up. William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright, and hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment, looks on as a brave mortal um, on an normal. Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. Um, why the is Shakespeare doing were used a to enemies cowering as they approached nightclub? But soon they realized that they faced a foe with courage and nobility. Traits uncommon in the fires of perdition. This is normal. I don't really understand why Shakespeare's in a nightclub, but okay. I guess that works.
Ow. Stop it. Thank you. Oh, wait, there's another sniper. Ow. Oh, wait, is there a third one? Oh, um. Wait. Wait, I don't think I'm killing. I think I'm just... Die. Stop disappearing. The inciting incident Thank you. resolved. The time has come for rising action. Um, those guys can fly. That's not fair. I mean, I can fly too, but don't really have control when I do like that. Why do you guys have machine guns? It's not fair. Ball. The battle raged on below, and as bullets and blood flew, the bard arched a curious brow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare needed? Hey, now get back here. Get back here. Hammer time. Die. Oh wait, what are you? And now, Act Three. Um, I don't know if I like that guy or not. But for now, I'm gonna hammer time these bitches. Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the Bard's aid. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for comedies. In the land of the living, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However, to the denizens of hell, the bard is seen in a far different light. Yeah, he is. He's a nightclub After owner. selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had oh, not counted on the god's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. Okay, so they're on our boat with us, so why to punch Satan in the face? Alrighty then. Yeah, I'm really so sorry if this comes out to be really loud. I don't know why it's so loud. Horse stomp. You can now slam your foot in the ground and form arcane stomps. Stomp element of force. Diversion of revenge. Sure, why not? Stomp tutorial. Let's do it. Lights up. The mortal stands in the training grounds, eager to try out his new force stomp power on the group of demons in front of them. Your suffering will be. Bitch! In which our protagonist kills more demons in Act 2. 
in which our protagonist is greeted by foul imps. That was easy. The protagonist learns that Force Stomp even works on flying enemies, enabling them to remove a dark insider's shield before shooting them to death with bullets. There is also a mistaken identity and love unrequited. Stomp also works against airborne enemies. I almost just killed myself. I will be the end. you die the day is one and the curtain closes on our noble hero okay so that's cool got curb stomp that's awesome rally Vlad well later Oh wait, that's kind of far away. We're gonna need a vehicle. Um, or stuff can just go explode again. That's that's normal. Nice Give me your life. back. Thank you. Just gonna go on my merry way over here. Hoods discovered. It's a hood. Oh gosh. Okay, not gonna piss you guys off. It's gonna keep going on my merry little way. Oh gosh, it's gonna take forever. I'm just gonna grab this while it's just sitting there because I need them. That's a monster truck. Oh gosh! Um. Okay, I'm just gonna say I am out of here. Yep, Give me. this is happening. Oh wait, let's go back. I can do that. I'm surprised hell would have cars. I really am. Get out of my way. I'm on a mission. Ooh, there's a bunch right here. I'm just gonna grab these real quick. Ooh, there's another one. Jimmy. I feel like Super Mario 64 right now. And I'm gonna need some flight power. So I'm gonna go back, charge up a little bit. Soul in one. Yeah, hole in one, soul in one. Wall. Okay, so I'm gonna need to make it over there. Okay, this should be fun. Yeah. Oh, that failed. <laughs> nope, that's not happening. That failed. Um, okay. Let's try this again. Let's see what these things can do. Yeah, I made it. This is bad. Okay, so now I'm rallying Vlad. Um, enter prison, because that's normal. Of course, this game is nothing about normal. Open door. Um... Um... 
Um. What is happening yeah, right now? The bus goes beep, 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 beep. Okay, he's a he's a homie. Get up. We got stuff to do. You know, I gotta say this song is pretty catchy. Does the banality of this children's song not drive you mad? This isn't pop music. You are extreme. Oh gosh. Go, Kinsey, go! God damn, Kinsey, you know you can be so brutal. Oh, that's awesome! And now I'm getting shot up like a bitch. Whee! Whoa. Um, okay, so that just happened. Oh, I love doing these kind of moves. Get back here, bitch. Sucker punch. Man, I'm gonna need to shoot you guys. Damned impaler. Oh. Ow. Did I say you could shoot at me? No. Okay, you disappeared. Could you stop moving? Oh, you're a shotgun of sorts. Okay. Should have said teacup. Oh, you're my teammate. Oh, my bad. Um, get back, you bitch. Hey, now get back here. Okay, and Vlad just killed him. That works for me. I'll take that. Come, let us return to my castle, so we may plot our next steps in proper surrounds. Okay, so now we're. Johnny led Vlad back to his castle, which, since his incarceration, became a Johnny, haven for frat um, parties and squatters. I'm kind of Kenzie. But the systematic impaling of trespassers would have to wait. Vlad was a man of his word and was eager to provide intel that could aid in hobbling Satan's armies. Jeez, befriend them. They're do something small for them. They're automatically so with us on taking down Satan. Diggy and cold fire. That sounds awesome. You can now charge your body with arcane energy. Cold fire produces ice cold flames of energy on the user, which will set fire to the normally fire demons of hell. Now that's cool. Pledge Rush help fly claims for defeating. Okay, it's. Tutorial the aura. I brought you to this inferno to teach you about the power I have granted you. Cold fire is an aura, which I means like you cold must fire activate aura. the power and get close to an enemy before they will feel the That's cold awesome. Embrace. Just go near Stitch them and they catch flames. fire. Try it against these demons. Burn, bitch, burn. You guys are on fire. Now here comes a dark inciter. Use your aura, then get close to him to take down his shields. From there you can finish him off with your pistol. 
Okay. Wait. I've done it. Doesn't it feel good to watch an enemy burn? Yes, it does. And that's kind of an awesome power up, I'm not going to lie. All right. So we've befriended two allegiances. That's awesome. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so we got the uh, Blackbeard on our team, we got Shakespeare on our team, we got Vlad the Impaler. Although, wait, why is Shakespeare in hell? I thought he was kind of a good guy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not gonna question this game's logic. But. Hey, I have clusters. <laughs> Just what I needed. Okay, so that's got a good amount of clusters right there. That works for me. So let's see what we can upgrade here. Arcane. Flight. Flap. Ooh, second flap. Hell yeah. Flight power. And they recover flight. Oh yeah. And I'm down to only six. Um, okay, so I think I'm done there. Oh yeah, now I get two flaps. That's awesome. Wait, where are you? Where are you? Start salvation. Easy. I don't know what salvation is. All right, it's salvation time. Satan's using his magic to send souls skyward and downward into oblivion. That's where you come in. Catch the falling souls before they hit ground and use an arcane blast to free the souls rising up. Of course, once you do that, you'll still have to catch them before they drift off to their death. Speed is key here. You'll get a bonus for every soul you can save before touching down. Now let's go save some clients. I mean souls. Poor, poor souls that need help. This sounds hard. Okay, maybe this isn't as hard as I thought. Jeez.
Okay. Okay, so that was just a waste of... Well, I got gold. That works for me. Well, that works. Gold. 3,000 whatever money this is. Alright, so I've been playing this for freaking 26 minutes already. Holy crap. So I'm going to end this part here. There's still a lot of gameplay left, so this is probably going to be a long series. Which I don't mind, because my channel needs that. And hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, guys.